I'm Jane King for the street from the Nasdaq market site in Times Square. Hurricane Irma was downgraded to a Category 4 storm overnight, but its wind speeds are only a few miles per hour less than a Cat 5. It is still on course for South Florida. The last flights from the area will go out tonight, but most planes are sold out, and more than 2,000 flights to and from Florida have been canceled. There is worry about hospitals in the affected area. The five hospital companies with the most Florida exposure are Tenet Healthcare, Envision, Surgery Partners, HCA, and Community health systems. Well, meanwhile, Mexico was hit with a massive earthquake overnight. The Pacific coast of the country was hit with an 8.1 magnitude quake, which was felt for miles. It's triggered a tsunami warning in Mexico and Central America. At least five deaths have been reported. It's being called the most powerful earthquake in a century in that area. And shares of Equifax are sharply lower, as it said it suffered a cybersecurity hack that potentially involved the private information of about 143 million Americans. That's almost half of the U.S. population. Criminal Criminals got access to files that included names, social security numbers, birth dates, addresses, and in some instances, driver's license numbers. It happened in May through July of this year. Also, three executives at Equifax sold stock on August 1st before the breach was made public, although they say they didn't know about the hack when the stock was sold. The FBI is actively investigating and Equifax has been cooperating. Well, happening today, the Baker Hughes rig count is out. Consumer credit will be reported and Philadelphia Fed President Patrick Harker will be speaking today. That's a wrap for us. But be sure to track breaking news and analysis all day at thestreet.com at the Nasdaq market site in Times Square. I'm Jane King for The Street. Have a great day.